Hi Pisces, this is your December 2018 reading. Pisces, this is the first month when we see a visible blaze of success. This is the first gift of Jupiter in your career house coming through. We have a new moon happening in your career sector this month, but the visibility of Jupiter will happen only after 14th of December. So the success will get illuminated after 14th of December. What is even more beautiful is that Mercury, which will be visible in the sky today on 9th of December, will meet this visible Jupiter in your career house on 20th or 21st of December giving you the first positive messaging. This messaging is something that will only grow in 2019 because Jupiter is going to revisit the new moon of this month three times in 2019. In fact, the full visibility, the full awareness of the extent of the joy, the extent of the expansion that this new opportunity is offered to you will only come end of January when Jupiter will visit the new moon point at the end of December and that is also end of January and that is also the time when you have the final eclipse in your workhouse happening on 21st of January. This is conclusion of a change in your work environment that you probably initiated over the course of this year and you've been working at it and the final culmination of that of getting over with an old phase of your life and moving into a new career phase starts in January itself in my view and that will grow and grow and grow in 2019 as Jupiter keeps revisiting this point over the course of 2019. This could be as simple as getting a very small message at this point in time but it will grow significantly as 2019 passes by. So take it to so keep, so give attention to anything that is coming through especially around 20th, 21st of December and anything in fact after 14th of December with respect to your career, pay attention to the signs coming through and the extent of um, the extent, the full extent of the success, the full extent of impact of that new start, whether it is a new project or a new authority figure coming through or a new actual change in career, a change in job or a new project that is coming to success. The full extent of success of that and impact of that on the authority figures, I believe will only come at the end of January. So be on lookout for what's coming in terms of a positive news this month. I'm very excited for your sign. This is one of the signs who's having probably the best month in my view of all the 12 signs. And at the same time, we have a full moon happening in your house of joy at the end of the month. This is fresh infusion of creativity. So I feel that this new start that you're having in your career or this new job or new project that you're, stay, that you're starting has your creativity, your personal stamp of creativity written all over it. And this is also the theme of 2019 because we have North Node moving into your house of joy and creativity. So your joy and creativity is supposed to grow in 2019. 2019 and become an integral part of what you do that is an excellent energy to have for a sign like yours who's very intuitive who, ha who is known as the height of intuition and using all of that creativity using all of that intuition and taking a risk on yourself is sort of the theme of 2019 and Jupiter will give you the confidence to go after these opportunities that you may not have felt before. Jupiter has sort of given a rebirth to your inspiration, a give, given a rebirth to your faith, given a rebirth to your ability to take a leap of faith to some extent. And that has happened over the course of this year. In adversity, you have found inspiration, you have found faith in my view. And this is sort of a reward of it all because you're putting all of that into action, into something that you can feel it, touch it and enjoy it uh, in 2019. This is a beautiful year start to some extent at the end of the year when you have the full moon in your house of joy. This is the start of a very fertile year. It is a start of a 2019 which is going to be full of inspiration, full of productivity, full of new things that are coming to you because 2019 is a year of manifestation. You have Jupiter in Sagittarius in its own sign sitting in your career house. You'll have Neptune, your modern ruler, sitting in its own sign, your sign, in your first house. Um, this is manifestation of imagination, of inspiration into reality. 
uh, you have uh, Saturn in Capricorn sitting in your 11th house, which is establishing your place in society, your standing in society. These are three big planets, three big hitters sitting in their own sign and hence they will manifest the best. They'll be most productive and they're all sitting in your house of goals, sitting in your house of career, sitting in your house of your position in the world, enhancing that for the first time in many years. Jupiter and Neptune jupiter and mercury are meeting together for the first time both visible in the sky both very potent at this point in time sitting in your career house on 21st of december so i feel this comes in layer and this just gets better and better i know it sounds cliche but that's how the month is looking like it just gets better and better and it gets better and better as the year goes by especially the first three months as a run up to your new moon and your season in March, everything is direct. All the planets, there will be no retrograde starting now anymore. So things will be moving forward at, at warp speed now and they'll be progressing really, really fast to give you a new start. If something has not ended yet, the old phase has not ended yet, end of January, I feel that an old work project, an old work environment comes to an ending. So you can have a fresh new start. You can start something completely new in in January in my view in your work sector in fact you already know in my view what it is because you've been working at it and Uranus is sort of causing changes in your financial standing for some time it has sort of been nudging you to change the way you make money change the way how you sort of even value yourself to some extent so it is not new that that change is about to come but the expansion of it all and how successful that would be is something still a, a, a mystery to all of us and to you but you will see that Jupiter will revisit this three times and every time it comes, it will re-evaluate that opportunity, improve upon it, expand it further. So keep working at that and, and also to some extent you'll have to, you'll have to let go your old life in the process of it all. That's what Uranus does. It detaches us from an old cycle, an old way of making money, an old way of being. It will detach us from that sort of financial security scenario that we used to find secure earlier and will pull you into a new phase saying that be comfortable with this mode now because this is your new life. Only one thing I want you to be careful about and I have talked about it in last month as well and I'll talk about it again even though I start I sound like a mum as many people said uh, when I kept saying that but it is as important as it gets. Neptune is in your sign. It leaches mineral. It leaches uh, vitamins from our body. Especially it leaches potassium, magnesium, calcium from our bones. So you need to be a little bit careful on minerals in your body. Either take a multivitamin if uh, under doctor's uh, supervision of course or start doing certain alternative health therapies that will help you get the right nutrition to the body and again the end January eclipse is happening in your health sector you need to be a little bit proactive about that so start cleaning up your health be careful about the end January eclipse from your health perspective because it's happening on your health sector so if you experience even slight like uh, getting any spasms in your body, uh, joint pains, arms, back of the neck, shoulder area, those kind of pains, they are clear indication that either you are dehydrated or you are low on minerals. So start supplementing if you have not done so, if you feel comfortable with it and your doctor feels comfortable with. I'm a big advocate of taking a magnesium uh, uh, supplement, but I leave it to you to research it for yourself and figure it out. And the second thing that you need to be careful of is your comfort. Company. Because when Neptune is in our sign, the veil around our body is very thin. We can let negative energies in very, very fast. So if there are people in your surrounding who don't believe in you, who are negative, who talk negative majority of the time, you are the sign who can get affected by that because you are an intuitive sign. You are the height of intuition. Neptune is your ruler. It has lowered your boundaries so you can let different kind of people in so you can enter a different phase in life. But the negative point of that is that you 
you can let certain negative energies in so be a little bit careful about that in 2019 is a great time to sort of remove some of the business as well as social networks that don't serve you anymore leaving a group that is not in line with your energies is the is sort of a road to success of 2019 to some extent so you have to change the people in your surrounding if you feel they're leeching your happiness they're leeching your success to some extent so be careful of that ground yourself and be careful on who are truly your friends and who are crowd uh, south node in your 11th house remove certain people who don't serve you anymore in your growth going forward who don't value your individuality who don't value your joy who don't value your success in the world so it's only logical to release that and south node will help you release certain people who you have addictive att attachment to who don't serve you anymore in your new life in 2019 So on that note I'll get into the details of things now but I wanted to thank all of you for staying with me I'm really really thankful to your support for your support to my channel and I'm really thankful for staying with me through it all it's all new to me I'm new to YouTube so I'm trying to create a set I'm trying to create a system around it and I'm trying to create a visibility on YouTube and I really appreciate your subscriptions likes comments and just the overall support that you've given to me and i wanted to wish you very happy new year if you're not going with me into the detail section of the video i wanted to thank you for your support this year and i wanted to wish you merry christmas and a very happy new year and hope you have a great one this is once in 12 years i want you to make uh, make the most of it and i hope that you make the most of it uh, the stars are completely aligned for you for 2019 thank you so much and now i'll get into the details of december 2018 As we stand today on 9th of December we are done with all the retrogrades mercury is visible we are done with test of faith to some extent you've been working on acquiring tools acquiring knowledge acquiring certain set of interaction with international people to gain new experience or even traveling to some extent to sort of create the tools that you need to get to the next stage in your career and now with that you're sort of getting the opportunity to get to the next stage in your career with the new moon happening in your career house on 7th of december which will continue to have an impact till 20th or 21st of december this is happening at 15 degree of sagittarius so if you have any planets between 10 to 20 degree of sagittarius or if you're born between 2nd to 12th of march you'll feel it very strongly this could be in form of a recognition this could be in form of a promotion this could be in form of a new job opportunity coming through or at the very least something new starting at your workplace which will put you in the limelight which will sort of put you at a different level in your career and start this new phase of growth in your career which will grow and grow in 2019 because jupiter will visit this point of new moon at the end of january and it will keep revisiting it three times in 2019 every time jupiter touches anything it grows the opportunity in it the awareness of it the knowledge of it grows so even if it's looking small right now or it looks like we are not clear on the details of it all now the details will come through only end of january in my view right now it is sort of a messaging and information or even a thought process that something great is coming in your career sector in terms of increasing your status in your social network sort of enhancing your status in the world to some extent you're standing the title that you hold is getting a improvement and enhancement as a result of this new moon this new moon is happening as a precursor to the new moon that will happen which is an eclipse on 6th of january 2019 which is happening in your social network that is a new start of social recognition status recognition in the network that you're part of this new start will get publicized to some extent is what i feel it will be very well known in the network that you're part of whether it is a new project that you've found success in or you're becoming a head of something or you're becoming an authority figure on something or changing a career or maybe a project or a deal that you were working on that is gaining a lot of recognition in the social network and that will require you to work very hard in 
2019 to create success in it it will require you to work very hard to make your big wealth to some extent and to make your dreams come true in 2019 it comes with saturn so there'll be a lot of work required in it it will also require to some extent letting go it will require you to let go certain people who are not part of this journey with you anymore it might be like leaving an old set behind and finding new tribe in 2019 which will become your support system in 2019 it will also be about letting go certain goals and hopes that you thought would be your direction is changing so the old goals the old set of people the old network has got to go and a new start a fresh new start in my view begins in january you are just getting the initial information on that i feel in december 2018 um because you have another eclipse which is happening at the end of january which is bringing you into limelight further it is making you stand up in your work environment it is it is happening in leo which means that you have to shine in your work environment and it will change your financial positioning because uranus has dipped back into your financial houses for the first time in 84 years and it wants to change the way you make money it wants you to change the way you look at yourself your self-image your self-worth is undergoing significant amount of changes and these are fated changes because uranus is sort of squaring the nodes all the way from october to january this is series of karmic events that are happening to bring your talents out to for you to shine in the work environment this is sort of bringing you out of shadows to some extent because uranus is letting go an old phase of you being behind the scene and coming out into the light to the world coming out in the social network coming out in the work environment that you're working on i've been talking about this whole process in context of work and career but if you're not part of the working economy and you're sort of the authority in your work in your personal life either you're a, a part of a relationship that is significant or you're part of a family group where you're sort of the head of the family or you take the lead there this is sort of the getting the title at personal level as well marriages are known to happen when things like that happen so this is very much an aspect of getting a title in a relationship a formal title in a relationship as well might come through as a result of that which is beautiful uh, i feel that the visibility of the success comes more and more and it grows it comes in layers so it will grow after jupiter will become visible after 14th of december the extent the full extent and awareness of it though in my view will start coming after the end of december all the way to end january when jupiter will come closer and closer to this point in fact when jupiter is meeting mercury on 21st of december both visible in the sky i feel that you will get a clear messaging on your success on the new title on the promotion or increase in your personal wealth that's happening as a result of that and that makes this beautiful the thing to look out for because everything comes with a challenge this is being squared by mars and neptune which are sitting in your sign so you're fully charged up and you want to speed up this process and you want to get it all right now the two things to look out for a is burning out because mars is making you go after things very quickly it wants to speed up the success so be careful in terms of where you're going and if there are any conflicts with authority figures that might come as a result of you trying to speed things up at this stage at the same time mars and neptune together are excellent to bring inspiration to reality there is an idea of you your self image that has changed over the course of last couple of years you've changed how you look at yourself now is the time to shine that image outward so what you feel about yourself inside having that show to the world this is an excellent time to convert your imagination your inspiration about yourself and bring it out to the world mars and neptune together is about imagination and inspiration brought to reality so if there's anything in terms of changing of wardrobe the way you look the way you convey yourself to the people it's an excellent time to polish your self image to be successful in this new career in this new phase of your life at the same time I have warned it in the in the introduction. I'm saying that again. Care for your nutrition. 
care for any leeches of minerals that might happen because of neut- because of neptune in your uh, in your sign it reduces immunity to some extent it reduces minerals to some extent so be careful about leaching of minerals and reduction in immunity as a result of that that comes but overall it's a beautiful energy you have that energy i feel it carries you to through towards 2019 especially the start of 2019 and you you'll feel this grow over the time as mercury becomes visible on 9th of december after that you will also see resolution of any career issues if there were if there were any dispute in terms of getting approvals getting certain authority stamps maybe an approval on some new product or a new launch that you were about to do or maybe a dispute with somebody at work you'll see resolution on that come through i also feel that the full visibility of 23rd of november full moon which happened in your home and family house will also come through after 9th of december mercury will revisit that full moon on 12th of december if there was a family matter that required your attention or if there was a feeling that you were not secured in this phase of your life that visibility of new found happiness new found comfort in your home and family and the fact that your emotional security is taken care of that relief i believe comes around 12th of december because this that full moon happened on a degree of discovery so there was new information on how you are being taken care of how you are supported was not evident till now and that visibility comes around 12th of december that uh, is also followed up with sort of a grand water trine that is forming between mercury chiron and north node which is happening in your sign so there's a grand water trine which is very healing which is very forward looking it is giving you the courage and creativity to go for it to go for your goals and do something new mercury and uranus are also together you're being nudged to make a change in the way you think about your work it's asking you to sort of invent reinvent yourself mentally as well as physically to some extent to figure out how to handle your career differently going forward it's giving you new ideas but at this time the ideas might be very scattered you might feel that these are just coming out of nowhere and you don't know how to make them practical it is fine not to know the details this month it is fine to have ideation this month the the uh, focus of it all might come after 4th of january when mercury and uranus will work in positive aspect with each other so you'll find practical application of these ideas whether they are financial or work related in january start right now i will request you if there are innovations coming through brilliant ideas coming through in terms of how to change your financial standing how to change things in your career note them down because you can put them to practical use in january itself Uh, on 14th of December your ruler Jupiter becomes visible this is star of blessings coming through in physical form manifestation manifestation happening in physical form when a planet becomes visible it starts giving its full blessings and Jupiter is in your career house and it starts giving its full blessing in your career house moon will also be in pisces 14th and 15th of december so you'll feel like a personal new moon at this point in time a personal reset a emotional reset after 14th of december to some extent you'll feel the euphoria of it all you'll feel the positivity you'll know that you'll have to work for it but it will be productive work it will result in something and that assurance i feel at an emotional level at a at a base level comes to you after 14th of december I feel the beauty of the month initiates after 14th of December after 14th of December all the way to 21st of December we have four or five such beautiful aspects that are enhancing your life the first aspect that is happening on 16th of December is that Venus and Saturn are together this is about long term stability putting down certain goals that are good for you in long term you're fixing your direction to some extent you have been reevaluating how which direction action you should go on for the last one year you've been acquiring tools for it and now you finally get the certification of sort of formalization of sort of going ahead in that direction um if you are uh, in in any kind of education this looks like a certification in that education if you have applied for a visa a process a legalization a citizenship process i feel a positive result of that might come through around 16th of december 
any kind of leap of faith to engage yourself with a foreign person or a foreign trade or with a new concept that you've done the legalization or formalization of that i feel for long term happens on 16th of december this could be in form of a visa coming through it could be in form of you publishing something that you've been working on this could be in form of a formal acknowledgement of your goals going forward and hence your career path it could be finishing of an education of sort or it could be you going into certain new pursuit a spiritual pursuit and you're figuring out practically how to go about it this is not a whim this is a very calculated leap of faith if you're taking a calculated leap of faith faith you have thought about it over the course of last 3 months this is the third time venus and saturn are meeting together and you're setting something up for long term a goal for long term at this time and this comes with a lot of courage because mars in your sign is meeting pluto so you are feeling very determined very courageous at this time this is the second aspect and it's even stronger because it's happening in your sign so you feel it very strongly at this time that you want to put something down you want to make a change in your life if you want to make any difficult task happen I think from 13 to 21st of December anything you've been waiting to get done in terms of your self image in terms of your goals 13th to 21st of December is the best time to do it even if you want to change your look I feel uh from 16th 17th of December they're excellent days to do that if you want to change how you look you want to change how you come across to the world you're working on yourself right now to get ready for 2019 it is a very powerful day you can take certain very difficult action uh, right now uh, pluto is giving you the power to convert your goals to reality and change your social status completely at this stage especially if you have any planets around 20 degree of pisces or if you're born around 10th of march mars is in your is is on your sun right now or on your ascendant or moon right now it is asking you to get into action and make a change make a change in how you come across in the society uh, make the connections you have not been able to make so far it wants to improve your social standing in the society it could come with changing your self image changing the way you come across changing how you look it could be changing your goals you will be taking something significantly which will impact you a uh, change that will impact you significantly going forward right now any sort of action taken right now will yield a very positive result going forward but it is a sextile you need to make use of it it's not going to just flow to you you'll have to put effort into it so be on lookout for opportunities to interact with new different people change the way you look change the way you come across this is your social standing that you're changing around 17th of december so take an opportunity to have a meeting reconcile reach out to somebody you've been afraid to sort of call on to so far make a connection um, any of those power moves that you've been sort of shying away from so far make 17th of december the day to do it then on 20th of december sun and uranus are meeting together it's the time to get different ideas about your job whether it is financially or just overall refurbishing how will you do your job differently going forward it is an ideation day this flows easily to you ideas come easily to you the changes in your job that you're planning to do they come easily to you this is something that you'll not have to exert a lot of energy in it will flow right in so if there are any changes you have been trying to do or you've been looking to try something different professionally Finally, 20th or 21st of December will feel like easy days to do that. Even uh, 19th December will feel like an easy day to do that. Then on 21st of December is the best day for your career in 12 years. I feel a positive news, a positive energy, a positive notification of sort comes through because Mercury, the planet of communication, and Jupiter, the planet of blessings and opportunity and expansion, they're meeting together in your career house, both direct, both visible for the first time in 12 years. I can't wait for you to tell me how 21st of December went by because I'll really like to know some positive news for a change from a sign. I have not seen a reading this positive for December so far for any of the signs and I look forward to sort of knowing how that all went down. 
uh, on 21st of December Sun will move into your social network so it's the time to hobnob it's the time to meet new people it's the time to make the new connection there'll be five planets in your social houses in January you'll be networking you'll be forming new connections you'll be forming this new found standing in the um, in the world right now so you'll be networking forming new connections both on personal level as well as on pers- uh, personal and business level in 2019 and that process sort of sort of starts with the euphoria of end of December and the euphoria is enhanced because we have a full moon in your house of joy on 22nd of December this is to infuse the confidence infuse the joy infuse the risk taking capacity both in your personal life as well as professional life it's an excellent time for love it's a fertile time for creativity it's an excellent time to spend with your children it's an excellent time to do something creative that you've been looking to do it's an excellent time to take a risk on yourself uh take a risk on your talents take a risk in terms of doing something that you truly love because we're here for a purpose and defining that purpose is sort of the name of the game in 2019 for you you'll not get an opportunity like this for the next 12 years we always have different opportunities but the environment is so conducive to manifest something that is so true to you in 2019 will not come again so take a chance on yourself in 2019 and that's the messaging of this full moon which is very directional it will change your mindset it will infuse you with uh, with new joy it will infuse you with new ability to take a bet on yourself you'll feel that your risk taking appetite has improved as a result of this full moon because <coughs> I'm sorry. It's happening at 1 degree so it's very very directional. It is in symbolic astrology. It is shown as a man changing the flag on a pole. Uh it's it's like one phase of life has ended and a new one is beginning. This is December solstice, the change in season, change in direction in your life. take it um it, this is training with you it will flow easily for you it is coming with uh, with a creative axe aspect of uh, your ruler neptune so you will feel very creatively charged right now to do something different in fact venus and neptune are together so if you are in any kind of creative field this is an excellent time to publish it it's an excellent time to let your creativity come out in the world by actually publishing or announcing something at this point in time and uranus in your financial house is making a positive aspect to this full moon so if you've been looking to sort of launch your own business and change the way you make money this energy is very conducive to starting a new business of your own where you make money in very unique ways in creative ways Um, in in ways which are different from the society norm essentially which will require you to let go certain people in your life to some extent because this is a full moon which has a imbalance of sorts between what other people think you should be and who you want to be and you're sort of deciding that you want to be who you want to be not what the world wants you to be and that is also the theme of the solar eclipse of 6th of january you're sort of standing out from the society and saying i like to do something that i believe in you're blazing your own path in this case so the uh, so the so the essentially the 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 um the visible blaze that is coming through this month has your creativity has your brand written on it you are writing your own path right now versus doing an old job or doing an old path or doing something that has been known and done before you're starting something that is different from the norm at this stage and um i think pisces of our generation uh, they will be known for it because saturn pluto and south node for the first time since 15th century they're coming together for you around april or or may of 2019 this is you breaking norms you're doing something that is away from normal society in 2019 and i feel this full moon is an indication of that because this is the first full moon that is happening in cancer since north node moved into cancer all the eclipses over the course of next one one and a half years will be happening around this will be happening around enhancing your joy will be enhancing around giving you more opportunities to display your creativity to the world and stand out in the world so this is sort of preview of 2019 i feel and what a beautiful end of the year 
career that it's it's coming with um if you are still working after that which you might be if, if you are in a creative field you might still be 25th of december is is very good for creativity in fact 23rd to 27th of december i know it's it's christmas merry christmas to you all but it's a great creative inspirational uh, time but it's not the time to get into details so if you have to work on any details of the job i don't think that will be a great time in fact most of this month is not a great time for details but especially at this time not signing any contracts uh, would be a good idea between 23rd to 27th of december if you have to sign any contracts 28th of december is the best day to do that after this because venus and pluto are meeting together you're feeling profound changes in your belief system you are feeling that you are about to change something in the society you're trying to take a leap of faith very strong faith at this point in time you'll be able to inspire others with your example i feel in 2019 your sign is a one to look out for for inspiring a large set of people and i i i will definitely look out for that uh, we also have saturn and uh, and uh, sun sort of coming in close contact after the end of this month so you'll feel that you'll be working very hard on creating certain dream come true certain of your goal to action you'll start feeling that towards the end of the month itself that you have to work very hard to make this goal come to reality in 2019 i wish you luck in 2019 i'm really honored to be working with you i look forward to having your company in 2019 and a um, merry christmas and a very happy new year to you and your family thank you